finally we're at the stage where we can start you know building stuff now before we build stuff um i just want to show you how this kind of works and just explore some of the new navigation that you're about to see once creating a funnel so let's head over to funnels and you can see contacts and tags and then you click on funnels here and this will take you to this page that you yeah, again you've got the filtering thing so you can inactive active or all funnels now what's really interesting about system is if you've ever used click funnels uh, and again if you've not used click funnels just so you know it, you're looking at like 200 pounds per month over 200 pounds per month for click funnels okay it's very very expensive and you know for very small not even a fraction of the price uh, you get a lot of the same sort of functionality um within system so let's head over and create something Okay, so you can see that this option pops up when you click the create button. You've got the option to name your funnel, which of course we want to do, and it gives you specific targets um, or target specific. So if you're trying to build an audience, which is basically just collecting email addresses, uh, so then you can do some remarketing, then ideally this will be the option for you. If you're trying to sell something uh, specific, like an ebook or something, this would be it if you want something from scratch which is what we're going to select in a second this is what you'll pick and then run an evergreen web uh, webinar um this is if you want to sell like a course if you've got a pitch something it just it's always going it's like a never-ending loop um so what we're going to do we're going to select we're going to name this and we're just going to call it um test funnel uh, test custom funnel okay and I'm going to select custom and then the currency is up to you. I'm going to do um, pound sterling because I'm from uh, England. So I'm going to do create. And what you can see here is can come across a little bit intimidating. I get it. It's new uh, if you've never used this sort of software before, but I promise you now it's actually not. And um, I'm going to explain all of the options for you as if you've never ever used uh, these options for any software before. Now, luckily, if you have used these sorts of options and you use sort of similar software, then you know that this is pretty standard stuff for most website funnel builders, all in one solution sort of things. But um, let's just take it step by step. So you can see you've got these main options here. So you got sales, stats, split test, automation rules, and step configuration. And on the left, you've got your sidebar, and this is where uh, all our layers or uh, steps are actually going to be, okay? So let's create a step by clicking the button. And we're going to name this um, step one, okay? And the type is going to be a squeeze page, in line form, opt-in, thank you page, but we're going to keep it so simple. And do you remember how I was talking about sales funnels and that there's all different sorts of terminology and names for landing pages and stuff? A squeeze page for you, if you're a beginner, is more than adequate. It's, it's good enough. Don't get nervous about knowing all of this yet. The minute you start generating leads, the minute you start generating an income online, you're going to very quickly learn what all of these means because it's natural it's what you want to do you know and you see the potential so your mind i'm a big big believer of mindset and um, i believe that if you've got the right mindset you'll very quickly achieve and do anything you want to do okay so don't worry and just focus on squeeze page we're going to do save and now you can see really nice of um system that the have created pre-made templates for you. All different sorts of stuff. Um, but the one that I'm going to go with is, I'm, let's, let's, let's go with this one here, okay? Or you can create a blank one, but we're not going to reinvent the wheel just yet, okay? These may not be the prettiest of templates, but they have proven to be the highest converting ones. So uh, if you want to preview what it looks like, just click the preview button and for some reason it's sharing a little iffy let's try refreshing the page I'm not sure why that's happening but we'll see in a second so let's click select okay so now that we've selected now we've got our landing page so this is going to be the first area that they come to but before we start editing it and everything let's just save it by clicking the save button right here and then preview again 
And again, it's it's not loading the way we want it to be, but that's okay because we can jump in and actually fix it for ourselves, okay? So what we've got, we've got the view funnel step and we've got the edit page and we've also got the, you can change the template. So let's do this and let's change it to, let's try this one, okay? Select, we're going to save, we're going to publish, uh, view, sorry, and there you go. We've got our legal information and click this and you've got an automatic pop-up. Nice, okay. So let's go back here and you can see we've also got automation rules. Now it uses something called conditional logic and it may sound like a complicated term, but it's actually really simple. It, it basically means if that, then this. So if someone enters email, move the action will be move that person to email one and then it will send them email one okay if someone clicks a button show a pop-up if light switch is up show the light is on if light switch is down show the light is off okay it's it's actually called boolean logic um but it's it's all nice, okay? It's, it sounds more complicated than it is, but it's actually really simple. So when an event happens, do something specific, okay? That's, that's all you need to know about it. Split test is another really nice little thing, and it's basically um, creating the same sort of thing, just in different ways to see what your audience are responding to more. If you've got split test A, um, you know, with a green button, but split test B with a blue button, and you're getting more people signing up to your uh, offer on the green button, which is split test A, then you know split test B isn't worth it. Focus all your attention on split test A sort of thing. And it's basically testing small little things um, to see which one gets you the best results. So then you can pull it all together and create one big campaign and be a thriving success. Uh, that's basically split testing and it allows you to do that. But again, we'll, we'll go down, we'll get into that at a later point. Statistics, so this is how many people are actually viewing your page, if they're returning, if they're opting in, if they're making, if they're purchasing, you know, and how many uh, views your page is getting before you earn X amount, okay? So it's really nice, simple statistics, which, um, which is great, really important, not great, but really important to have. Then, of course, you've got a breakdown of all your sales, so the date, you know, which step they made the sale on, the amount, uh, information about the customer and their status, is it pending, is it, you know, refund, I don't know, something on those lines. So you've got all of that really information, and you can filter it by date, okay? So now we know that we've got our homepage offer, which is this okay next we want to do so when they enter their information here we we want to track it and maybe even do something called upselling which is giving them uh well increasing our chances of earning more from them so at this moment in time um they're going to download your free course but once they submit their information we've now got potential to do something else with them so we want to send them to another page and preferably we're going to call that the thank you page okay so let's type in thank you um type and we're going to you can see do opt-in thank you page save and you can see it's got thank you for subscribing or um one of the two so i'm actually going to check uh, select this one because that's just like it's a bit more attractive let's click the preview step yeah it's a lot more attractive and you can see that's probably optimized for mobile okay so select and you can see you've got your url there url there you can do um you can do your own domains at some point but we'll we'll cover that in a later video uh, right now we're just going to save it preview and there you go. So you can see, thank you for subscribing. You'll receive your credentials by email, but before we recommend you to, but before we recommend it, so I think this is, um, I think the English isn't great yet, but remember we can always change this. As long as the system works, that's all that matters. Um, join our Facebook group and then it takes them to obviously the Facebook group, okay? Um, so that's really nice. And what you can see is you've got huge, huge potential. So um, you give them a free course, you ask them if they want to upgrade here or join your Facebook group where they can ask questions and then you can create that trust, that relationship with them and ultimately um, they'll start buying your stuff, okay? And that's really, you can create as many, create 
uh, step pages as you want, okay? And just some basic way to edit your page. If you click on this, uh, the step, which by the way, you can rearrange like so, um, you would simply do edit page, wait for it to load. And you can see, again, you've got some really simple um, options here, but this is what we call the live editor. And if you hover over any of that, you can see that you've got rows and then you've got sections. So you, the, the core thing will be the section. The next thing will be the row. And then the thing inside are called elements, which is text, um, a headline, a button, legal info. Uh, you can click on the gear icon and it opens up on the left, whether or not you want more spacing or shadows, or if you want a delay, or if you want it visible on a mobile or desktop. And you can see every time you click on something, so let's click on this, you can see this is the the navigation, that, the, the kind of the, the funnel in its own right to step one was section, step two is row, content box. It's kind of like a, a crumbs, uh, if you've ever heard that um, description before crumbs which is basically just showing you how you get to that point okay so if we wanted to change text very simply we'll just click on where we want to change text and we're going to do um uh how to skyrocket your website rankings in i don't know let's say seven days okay and then if I wanted to change this text here, I'd hover over it, double click, click the button below to download the free course, okay? And if I wanted to, let's say, first off, I'm going to capitalize it because I don't like it when titles aren't capitalized like this. Uh, and just like that, you can see on the left hand side, you've got font size, so we can make that bigger. Uh, if you want to make it bold, bang, um, and then give me access now. If you click on that, you can see on the left again, you've got show pop up, send form, all of these sort of things. So we want a show pop up, and the pop up is going to be this one. And again, we'll get into all of this and how to actually create it. I'm just going through some of the basic options. So when we do start doing it, it's not such a um, traumatic experience really just really nice and simple if you want to add some top margin just like that if you want to add some bottom again it's just it's, it's literally drag and drop and slide up and down if you want to change the button text yes give me access now well i'm not going to change that but you can see change it there bang font size again change the font um again if you want to do the full width button or just the fluid it's completely up to you add some more padding which is again the inside space uh, if you want to make the corners a little bit more, you know, like that, that's cool. Just change it. And if we scroll down, you can see you got a border, delay before displaying item, and if you want it only visible on desktop or uh, mobile, bang, just like that. And um, let's say I want to change the color of this text. Actually, to be honest, I don't really like the background. So if we wanted to change the background of this whole page, go into settings, and uh, you can see where it says background image. You simply just bang off that and let's change the background color to you know just just white okay just just white just like that okay video type if you've got a video add it in so you can have actually a background video sort of thing going on um the language so you can i've never actually played with this option before but um i assume this will change the language of everything and of course they're talking about SEO, which is nice as well. So you've got all the SEO right here, um, which is cool as well. Um, and also, they give you a nice opportunity to add in a affiliate link at the bottom of the page, um, just like so. So can you see the bottom right hand corner, powered by system.io? Well, if you leave that there, anyone who clicks that and purchases the software, you would actually earn some money. Uh, which is a nice little add-on. So I don't, I'm, I'm going to keep it there because, you know, I want to earn 40% of whatever people, you know, uh, subscribe through my link. So if they're paying something like £100 a month, then I'm going to earn, what's that, £40 a month? Not bad. <laughs> so I'm just going to do save changes, view it. Okay. So it's in preview mode, bang, just like that. And you can see 
there's really not much to it okay so that's really the absolute fundamentals that you need to know um about using and editing pre-made templates in the next video let's actually create a custom funnel i'm not talking about using any pre-made stuff i'm just talking about getting right in there and creating something um, in fact, I don't know if it's going to be in the next video. I think I'm going to cover the rest of the tabs before I come back to this. Uh, but that's the absolute fundamentals of funnels.